What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Seeds Golden Crystals. We're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff today. Uh we're gonna fight that sand dragon that they were talking about in that desert island. I'm I'm there right now actually. Uh I wanna fight Death Guys and find Leviathan slash the water dragon that they were talking about. Um yeah, but here's the uh, place where you can find the um these, the other, the dragon that they were talking about, you know, I think it's, uh, either Zen or Albro, or somewhere. Someone says, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a sand dragon that you can fight in some desert island, and it would be really cool if, a dra if, if you have a dragoon in your party, you could learn an ability, so, yeah. It's not these, uh, bean dragons, no. You could beat them for good XP, but it's not what they are. That's not, uh, those aren't the enemies that you want to fight. Um, the enemies that you want to fight, it's, it's called the Sand Dragon. Yeah. There's an Iron Giant that I'm definitely going to run from because holy crap, it's a lot of damn damage. Yeah, that's insane. So, note that. As I revive Zemis. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll fight him later on. In fact, I, yeah, I'm skipping forward to getting to him right now. Here we go. So here is the sand dragon. Yeah. You want, when you fight this guy, you want, um, you want your players to be able to do damage that, uh, that ignores defense. That's why I have Locke here, and that's why I bought Falcons. Uh, because the Falcons can do a lot of damage when thrown, and I had a lot of money, so I just bought a whole bunch of them. And uh, throwing items ignores defense, so there you go. As does Biggs' tech missile, which does quite a bit of damage, and it ignores defense as well. The Sand Dragon does a lot of uh, earth attacks, earth elemental attacks. Um, so if you want, you can head into this fight wearing uh, Gaia gear. I don't really care about it, but whatever. That's why I learned Meteor for Tina as well. Tina is really good defense, so I don't really care about her getting hit. Uh, pretty much everything's ineffective against her, which is really weird. But whatever. Anyways. Yeah. There we go. Take him down. It's easy enough. It's magnitude 8. That's actually one of the better things you can do, because... Yeah, look at that. Ha! I didn't do anything. Yeah, I gave uh, Tina the Esper Crystal. Just so she could dual cast, um, uh, what's it called? Meteor. I don't know how many hit points this guy has. I imagine he has a good maybe 60, 70,000, 50,000 hit points. I don't know. I figure you could do that yourself by just adding all the damage up. Yeah, and I'm throwing different elemental stuff just to see if he has an elemental weakness, but he probably doesn't. Anyways, you beat him, you get a whole bunch of XP. And you get the Dragon Heart, which is a pretty good dragon uh, attack for Edgar. And now, it's time to fight Doomgaze! Yay! You can fight him when you uh, fly around in the airship. Um, it's pretty random as his appearance is. He uses level 5 death right out of the gate, so you don't want anyone to be at a, at a level multiple 5. Yeah. Uh, do whatever you can to do max damage to him every turn, or a lot of damage to him every turn, because he'll run away after a certain amount of turns. So, yeah. That's why you want, you know, to throw fire weapons at him, and having Zemus mimic that, which is really good. Uh, use, use elemental rods if you still have a whole bunch. If not, just use like Piraga or Pira. Um, falls, fails. Yeah, there you go. I took him down pretty quickly there. You can do that pretty much, probably, probably say the mid 30s level. If you really want to. But yeah, easy to beat. You got Shadow Flare, that's another thing for Edgar. Slash Kane. What I called him this game. And you also get. Bahamut magic, or the Bahamut, uh, crystal shot. Now it's time to fight the water dragon that they were talking about, um, uh, 
someone in, I believe, Nikea says that, oh yeah, it's right next to Doma, it's like in the ocean surrounding Doma. You would think it would be on the coast of Doma, but it is not. It's actually right here. Yeah. You enter this, you enter this whole area, and you fight Bahamut if he's walking around amongst all the other fish. So I'm gonna enter there and try and fight him. Yeah. Here we are. Alright. Cool. I don't think I put up a good fight against him at all. But we'll find out. That's what I hate about not recording this live. It's kind of lame because I know what's going to happen. It's hard to manufacture the live feel. But it is what it is. I'll be, I'll be correcting that eventually. I just need to see if my machine is powerful enough for direct capture, and if so, that'd be amazing. If not, I'll just use my camera again, hell with it. Alright, here we go. Take on Leviathan. Yeah, make sure you have lots of lightning stuff in there. There's big wave right out of the gate. Probably gonna kill all of us. Holy crap. Damn. I need to know why, uh, how Tina is, uh, absorbing water, because... If everyone can do that, then we'll have a great chance of uh, beating him. It's funny he slows himself down. It's like Final Fantasy IV, he just kind of like doesn't, uh, puts himself at a disadvantage or something like that, I don't remember. The Rippler exchange exchanges status, really weird. So it like recovered all of, uh, box hit points. Oh, no, it didn't, never mind, I'm sorry. Damn, he has lots of just crazy physical or something. Jeez. I think I, I think I bought a whole bunch of Thunderbolts. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Nice shot. Uses Toad too, so I need to find out. Okay, so for the next fight, I'm just gonna let this drag on a little bit. Uh, for the next fight, I want to see. I need to find stuff that absorbs water and stuff that prevents Toad. Okay, cool. All right. And wear that into the fight. Alright, cool. Okay. I mean, just to cut this short, like, I get killed pretty quickly. Um, yeah. Despite landing a lot of really decent shots with uh, Thunder Rods and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just... His attacks are way too powerful. I want to try and beat this guy off screen, and if I do, I'll show you the results of that. And I'll do that next time on Final Fantasy 6, the Eternal Crystal. Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome and get killed by Big Wave. Peace.